tiny wee boat. This is the tiny wee boat, the tiny wee building site, the tiny wee sauna. Whatever you want it to be, it is. It's meant to be really hot again today. We love that. So wish us luck. Thanks for enjoying. So blah, blah, blah. thanks for joining us on this journey so far. Great to see you all liking, commenting, and enjoying. It is day twenty-two. So let's get at it. news of the tiny wee boat today we've actually met our first fan so they're on board and ready to do an interview so what do you think of the tiny wee boat i think it's fantastic it's a fan seriously though let's hope this fan cools us down today so this morning was all about tidying out the inside of the boat We had this problem last time where there's just so much stuff inside that it takes us such a long time to set up so hopefully we'll come up with some sort of hack on how to stop that happening. If anyone has any ideas, give me a shout. Now you saw this in the last episode, this is our super slimline kitchen unit. So we just wanted to double check the sizes and also make sure that the holes that we've cut for the stove top and the sink work with the boat. I've frozen it here just so you can see how it looks. What do you think? The boat's looking a bit fancy. Fancy. Get it? Now, I hope you laughed or at least cracked a smile. I do love a pun, if you've not noticed by now. Are we at the beach? No, we're at the boat. So the plan for Today is to get more of the carpet done. Don't know if we'll get it finished, but we will try our best. <laughs> it was already getting super hot. There's a life hack for you. Get a large t-shirt and a fan. Put your t-shirt over the fan and have fun or have fun. <laughs> so Victor's putting on more insulation as you can see before we get to carpeting. So the bow is being insulated and I am scraping the sides again, getting rid of any like glue or insulation to make sure that we can put on new insulation. So with the insulation almost finished, it was nearly time to get started on the carpet, which turned out to be super difficult because of the angles. So we wanted to make this steering system smaller so it doesn't pop out from the wall. Um, so we tried to take it off as you can see.
but it didn't work and so we did a little bit of a tidy up before starting on the carpet. Quick banana break before cracking on. This carpeting of the bow took so long and Victor was so amazing as always he just got on with it but it was a really hard fiddly job. He actually hated it so much that he ran away. Oh jokes he was just hiding. Here's a lovely new wall, beautiful carpet on the bottom, and a very uncomfortable vector. So while it was Victor was grafting, as always, he actually cut his knee, so Nurse Hannah to the rescue came and wiped it up and stuck on a bit of kitchen roll because we didn't have any plasters. And here he is just fighting through the injury, getting the job done. Now if you look to the right, Victor had actually just lost his hat there. So there is footage of Victor hatless. Um, if you do want to check it out, feel free to rewind and pause. The dog was starting to feel a bit needy. So I went out and played with him for a little bit and then eventually invited him on board to annoy Victor. <laughs> And would you just look at the two of them? They are very cute. The dog has inspected the carpet. If you can tell by his smile, he is happy with everything. Progress report, this is how it's looking now. I'm thinking it's looking pretty great. These are just the last minute touches to finishing the carpet at the bow. The dog enjoyed his time on the boat so much that he wanted back on board. Look at that wee face. So he was welcomed back on board to check out the carpet again. Are you happy with it? Well, Victor's just finished carpeting under or at the bow and we love it. Look at it. Excuse the dog's butt. <laughs> Victor and the dog having a celebratory dance. Now we are going under that bit of the bow to take out the ballasts. We're actually thinking of putting a water tank here and batteries. Does anybody know, please, can we put the ventilation for the batteries facing inside of the boat or through the floor? Or do we have to have the ventilation outside? We're going to be using AGM batteries for those who know what that means. I, I personally do not. Now it definitely looks like we're doing things backwards after fitting the carpet and then trying to lift this front bit up. Um, you're right, it is a bit backwards, Wait, but you know, like these things happen when you're renovating.
dog was getting all the cuddles today, which was very cute. I mean, just look how much he's loving it. That tail's like a propeller. <laughs> This is an old gear lever that we managed to pop out. And here's Victor trying to work out what best to do with the steering. Because as I mentioned earlier, it would stick out with the wall that we've got. So we're trying to work out a way to make it not stick out. Um, so wish us luck with that. So the water tank's in, which is great, and we are planning on putting the batteries here. Please, if you do know anything about ventilation and what is and is not allowed, um, then let us know in the comments. Thank you so much. Final bits of ventilation going on. Now, we didn't manage to get it all carpeted today, but it was super hot and Victor managed to get a lot done, even with his injured knee. So it was pack up in the dark. Now this does look a bit scary, a bit ominous, um, but promise it's just Victor running around with a head torch on packing up. Um, but thanks everyone for watching. Really hope you enjoy and that you're enjoying these, this journey with us. We love making these videos and cannot wait to see you in the next one.